Hey guys, it's Hope from Cedar Hollow Gardens, and I'm back with a quickie video because I finally got all my um, jugs open. Um, and I've got cilantro here, scarlet kale. This is an unknown brassica. The stick in it says spinach, but it's absolutely not spinach. This is another unknown brassica. I have one, two, three bachelor's button jugs, and that's because I have blue, white, and red. I have lavender in that one. Um, I have a white Lisbon bunching onion, prize taker onion peas you saw earlier, red vein sorrel, and chamomile, and I have Verona cabbage, and I believe, oh, and cilantro. I thought it was parsley at first, but I tasted it, and nope, it is definitely cilantro. So, we are off to a good start with our winter sowing. This is our first reveal, and again, I would absolutely advocate this if you are in a cold zone. Um, I am no expert. If you want to see a lady who ought to be awarded an honorary PhD in winter sewing for teaching the method is Cheryl Mann, the Juicing Gardeners channel, and I will leave her link below. So if you're interested, you can check out how this exactly works. And I will also put in the wintersown.org link. Trudy Davidoff um, actually, I believe, invented pretty much this idea on a grand scale and shared it with us so that we can learn how to do this in the snow zone so we can catch up with you people down south and i am actually going to walk up front real quick one more time because i have to show you guys that just got me in trouble again um we went to get some compost which i showed you in the earlier video in the big bed well the mushroom compost stinks to high heaven oh lord have mercy it's beautiful but oh boy it stinks 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 and we thought we were getting footage of the truck unloading it on our tarp here but we did not uh, my husband unfortunately flipped the camera around and videoed himself so we had twice as much but a lot of it's gone in that bed but i do want to show you this variegated sage jess <laughs> who got me in trouble because once i saw it i had to have it and I also had to have the purple sage. And I like sage, but I don't know what I'm going to do with it all. So if you live near me, um, email me and I'll give you my ch church address. And when it starts getting harvestable, I'll be taking it there. It'll be at our local food pantries. Because holy moly. And just an update on the spinach in the front grow box. And a reminder of this. Because I think everyone needs to be reminded of that. Because that's a really cool thing. Thank you guys for watching again. Um, love you guys. And please like, share, subscribe. You know the SOP around here. And remember, as always, blessings of bounty to you and yours. Catch you next time. Bye-bye.